Ooh, what's up guys, it's MD Shady and today we're heading off to the GO Train to go to the Canadian National Exhibition in Toronto, Ontario, Canada to go searching for Funko Pops and other Funko related products. So let's check it out. So like I said, we're heading over to the GO Train. We decided instead of driving to Toronto, we'll just take the GO Train over there. Makes things a lot easier and we're going to see if we can find some Funko related stuff and some other cool stuff at the CNE. Maybe I'll show off what I get for food because at the Canadian National Exhibition, there's a food building that always has really cool food and in the past years we've seen a lot of Funko products. All right so now we are officially into the scene and we're gonna walk around for a bit and then we'll probably hit up the buildings that do have the Funko Pops and stuff like that but I figured I'd give you uh, a quick pan over of what we're seeing as soon as we got in here. So so far this is what we're seeing we have the BMO field there the food building is over here and uh, besides that there's not a whole lot more to look at there is some carnival stuff up there I see a uh, fool the guesser and I see a uh, chicken and chip stand way down there so we might have to check that out later but for now we'll stick to walking around and finding some of these buildings so this is the first store that we're seeing some pops at it is called game swap and they do have a few pretty cool ones here I'm seeing the stupid sexy Flanders as well as down there I do see the ace cover down there the wanted poster that's really cool we do have a cat dog and it isn't flocked and you don't see the non flocked one very often here at this next booth we have these pokeballs that are made into terrariums and if you look closely some of these are actually the advent calendar pops which is really cool we have Psyduck as well as Lapras there and I also did notice Dragonite, Score Bunny and then Pichu over there as well as Munchlax so these are gorgeous they look really cool and adding the advent calendar pops is such a great idea so I found this booth that has a bunch of these different keychains for a bunch of different animes and if you notice here we do have All Might and Deku and those are definitely the stylization of Funko Pops there's no way of hiding that but they're not actual Funko products. And at that same booth I'm seeing some really cool Pokemon statues here we have like the buff versions of Pikachu, Charmander and Bulbasaur and then over here we do have some really awesome ones. One that I do really enjoy is the Gengar, Haunter, and Ghastly one. If I don't spend too much money today, I might come back and grab that at 180 bucks. That's a really nice piece. So now we're entering the craft building and I know that for sure this is the building that has the retro festive booth in it. And I believe it's like closer to the middle. So we're gonna do some walking around before we find it. But once we do, I'm sure there'll be a lot of stuff to show up. Now moving up to this next booth over here, I do see some Funko Pops. So hopefully they do have a bunch at this booth and just like I thought they do have a ton here so that's awesome to see so let's go through and see if we see anything uh, that we don't have or that we need necessarily for the collection or anything that's just interesting that we haven't seen in a while so first starting off it does look like at this booth they are 15 bucks each or three for 40 so that's not bad at all let's see if there's anything that we can actually find that we need it does seem like a lot of pops that we've seen a lot of recently. I do notice up there though we do have the Usher. That might be a pickup today. That's really cool. I have yet to see that one in person. And something I am noticing down here is that we do have some out of box pops it looks like. And then if you go over here we do have some of the like mini pops slash advent calendar pops. There's a bunch of the Pokemon down there. Wish Gengar was a pop so that I could get a mini pop of Gengar today. But unfortunately that's not the case quite yet. But we do have some cool stuff down here it looks like. Is this Yoda? it looks like yep that's definitely Yoda that's pretty cool to see it seems like there's a few of them in there Chewbacca my favorite character from Star Wars and then it seems like we have a bunch of the gingerbread ones for Disney that's really cool as well Pokemon it seems like we have some other different figures and yeah there's a ton of different uh, of the advent calendars it looks like these are some pint-sized heroes in there that's really cool look at this this is an awesome one to see we have great ape vegeta but it's also flocked if you can see if it wants to focus on this and there we go now that it's focused you can totally tell that that is a flocked great ape vegeta that's really cool also one thing that i completely skipped over is we do have some mystery minis here with the disney villain set and they are 10 bucks each that's not bad might have to pick up some of these it looks like okay these are the ones that are different rarities so that's cool maybe i will end up picking up a couple of these to show off at the end of the video but who knows and to show off the rest of the pops that we do have here there are some six inch pops at the top there's hades that's really cool we got goliath as well as the hall what else do we got here? The Hydra Stomper, Immortal Hulk, as well as another Hulk over there. And then to show up, 
the other array of pops. Most of them are commons, but as you can see, there are some con exclusives and other stuff like that. So I'll just scan over the rest that they got. And honestly, you could probably find some good deals here. We do have some Fortnite stuff up here with the Skull Trooper. We got Rex there as well. Those are some really cool ones. Looks like some of those OG Funko Pops for Fortnite as well as we have the Cuddle Team Leader up here. What else do we got? We got some of the ad icons with the foodies, with the Twizzlers. We got the Barney there that I do already have. We got some NHL Pops. A couple of WWE Pops, Matt Riddle, that's pretty cool. Some more NHL stuff as well as golf and some other sports. And then G.I. Joe at the bottom. And now we're here at Retro Festive and right away one pop that I see that I do not have is the brand new Flying Toucan Sam. That's got to be a pickup today. I'm also noticing we do have some ad, more ad icons with the McDonald's set. There's a lot of different things here. I don't have the Birthday Ronald McDonald either, so that might be one I have to pick up today. The Blockbuster case, that's pretty cool. We do have some Pokemon Pops here. Actually, quite a few different ones, and I do see a few that I don't have yet. We got some My Hero Academia. It looks like we have some Sports Pops down here with Vladdy. That's awesome to see. We got some Maple Leafs as well and some other Hockey Pops down there. And then it looks like in a range of a bunch of different stuff, we do have some Team NT Pops. Though. Looks like we got some Stranger Things Pops as well. I believe I have all of those. We do have the brand new Trailer Park Boys Pops with me and DK both already have that full set so we won't be needing those today. Looks like we do have Stitch 626. That's a pop that I've been looking for for quite a while so I could possibly pick that up today. We got Duffman which I do have and then we got Steven Towley here which is hilarious. I don't have that either. And then for Pop Rocks it looks like we have a pretty decent selection of different stuff there. We have Angus Young from ACDC. We have Axl Rose. That's a pop that you don't see very often in stores. A couple of the Kiss Pops. I own all of those. Looks like we have Sir Mix-a-Lot. I don't have that one yet. That's pretty cool. Flavor Flav is another one that I don't have yet for the Pop Rocks lineup. What else do we have? Janis Joplin, John Lennon, and a couple of random Hamilton Pops that are thrown in there. And then, of course, at Retro Festive, there is always a bunch of different sodas. So scanning over those sodas to take a first glance at what we have here. Another thing I'm noticing up here is the bunch of Office Pops they have, but then also we have some Gilligan's Islands Pops, and they do have the Warner Bros. 100 sticker on them, and I haven't seen that sticker yet, so that's pretty cool to see in person. So moving on to this section, we do have a bunch of different candies. There is the Kool-Aid Man, which is nice to see, but then we have some random Pops thrown in. We got Bono over here, and then down here we also have Chucky and Tiffany, so it's interesting that they're throwing in some horror stuff that's kind of blending in with some of this candy. And there is the Retro Fest sign itself and we have a bunch of lounge fly backpacks that look really cool. I see a Casper one over there that is awesome. So now that we're outside of the craft building, I do see a booth here that does have some pops. We got Bo and Vladdy there. We also got Steph Curry, that's really cool. Lionel Messi, I don't think I've actually seen that one in person yet. We got Jordan and then we got some other pops down here with Marvel, DC, as well as some Disney. And I do see a Disney 100 down there of Aurora. And then making our way inside the booth, we do have some Pokemon here. That's cool to see. We also do have some Pokemon cards. If there's anything interesting, I might have to pick up a couple packs today. What else do we have for Pops? It looks like we do have a bunch of anime here, which is always great to see. We have the specialty series pop for Tokyo Pool. That's pretty sweet. We have a bunch of the Disney princesses. It looks like some Riverdale pops as well as E.T., Happy Gilmore, Indiana Jones. There's Hercules right there. That's cool to see. We do have some more Stranger Things. A couple of horror pops over here at the end. And then on this side, it looks like we have a different array of a bunch of stuff. It looks like we do have some pop rocks. There's the Ed Sheeran, Zayn Malik there. We have the Flash. Down here we do have some other stuff with NASCAR as well as some Hockey Pops, Bobby Clark, Terry Sawchuk, Sean Bevelo, Patrick Waugh, Guy Lafleur, and then Sidney Crosby as well, Connor McDavid. We do have some Rocky Pops and then it does look like we do have a couple of WWE with King Booker and Randy Orton. And there is that Usher Pop that we've seen earlier. What else do we have here? We have Kawhi, too bad he's not on Toronto in this pop, that would be really cool. And then besides that, it looks like we do have some chases down here. Some pretty cool ones as well. I noticed that glow in the dark Hercules, that's an awesome pop. Wayne Gretzky, but I do have that as the chase already. And then we have Britney Spears there, as well as Angus Young. I do not have the Angus Young chase. 
All right, so we just got off the GO train and we are in a different city. So we're gonna check out the Walmart here in this city to see if there's anything different from the Walmart that's nearest to us. All right, so we've made it to the pop section here at this Walmart and it looks like pretty basic stuff that you normally see at Walmart. We do have a lot of Black Adam, of course. There are some Spider-Man Miles Morales, which is cool. And then you have Athena from Eternals, the Walmart exclusive. And besides that, I mean, there's not too much, just standard stuff that you see at Walmarts here in Canada. Something cool that I just found over here is we do have a TMNT Mutant Mayhem uh, display or end shelf, and we do have a ton of pops, and it looks like basically all of the common wave. Let's see what else is on the back here. So we have uh, Superfly, April O'Neil, and Splinter, as well as all of the turtles. So yeah, it looks like we have all of those pops here. So it's really cool to see every single one all in one spot. All right, so now we're back from the Cine and we had a great time. It's always a good time at the Cine and we picked up a few things. So let's show off what I got. So I guess the first things that I'll show off is the like candy slash food products that I bought well at the Cine. And the first thing that I grabbed is this Tic Tacs Sprite flavored and I actually haven't tried it. So let's go ahead and try it right now. So I have one of the Sprite Tic Tacs. Wow, okay. It kind of tastes like Sprite. It is like that lemon lime kind of flavor, but you kind of do get the feel of Sprite with this. So I think it was a decent pickup. And then from that same booth, I picked up the Mr. Beast Feastables double chocolate chip cookies. Uh, I know really nothing about these, but it does say that they're plant-based and gluten-free, so that's pretty cool. But my coworker wanted me to pick him up some Beast Bars from back when I was in the States a few weeks ago, but I couldn't find any. So when I found these at the Cine, I figured I might as well grab these and we will share these while we're at work. And then the next thing that I bought was a poster. There was a lot of really cool posters at this one booth. Nothing really Funko related, but a lot of stuff that Funko has made pops of. This one I thought was really cool because it is kind of uh, two different things that I like that being GTA as well as rap music so if you guys can see here without too much of a glare there is a ton of different artists on here let's see if I can pull this bottom down without wrecking it too much but as you can see there there's Post Malone which is really cool there's a lot of awesome artists on here and it is in that like GTA poster stylization which I thought was really really cool so I'm gonna have to get a poster frame for this and hang this up in my bedroom. Then the next thing that I picked up was a t-shirt from Saved by the Bell and it does say Zack Attack there I think it says summer of 92 US tour and it has the whole gang on it there I thought this was amazing. Now moving on to the pop that I got at the one booth that had pops that wasn't retro festive I guess there was a couple but this one mainly had Funko Pops the brand new Usher Pop. This is really cool and I thought what was interesting on this is it does have the MLB branding on it because he is wearing the hat there so they have to uh, do that which is pretty interesting but nonetheless this pop is awesome and one thing that I thought was funny about this is I started singing yeah like as I was showing it off to my mom when we got out of the building and then about five minutes later we went down uh, one of the rows at the Cine and there was actually it was coming on on the radio that song so I thought that was hilarious perfect timing to pick up this Usher pop and then going back to Retro Festive which will be the last of the stuff that I picked up at the Cine the first pop that I picked up was the birthday Ronald McDonald and there you have it there this is really cool uh, I believe this is the only pop that I needed out of the set of the two pops I think I got that hamburger already so yeah, this is really cool. It's awesome to add another Ronald McDonald or McDonald's pop in general to my ad icons lineup. And keeping the theme of ad icons, the second pop that I picked up at Retro Festive is the brand new Toucan Sam in the flying pose. This pop is sweet. I was super excited to see this. I didn't even really know that it was in stores yet. And I love the side of the box here where it has the colors of uh, his nose or beak as well as his body fur. That's just amazing. Or not fur, but feathers. And there's the back of the box there. That looks really cool. But overall, this pop's sweet. I do have the OG Toucan Sam here, so it's nice to add the flying one as well. And this one actually looks like it might be a little bit of a darker color. It's kind of hard to tell inside of the box, but nonetheless, this pop is awesome. And then the last pop that I picked up at Retro Festive, I was really excited to see this. Again, I had no clue that this pop was out. And it is Chuck E. Cheese. This is awesome. What does it say is the name? Retro Chuck E. Cheese, which is really cool. I guess this is like the second version of Chuck E. Cheese because there was the one from like the 70s and 80s, but this is more of the late 90s and early 2000s Chuck E. Cheese that I grew up with. And this is an amazing pop. There is the art form there 
of Chuck E. Cheese exactly how I remember them. This is so cool. I'm super excited about this pop. Uh, and it was funny, as it was on the shelf, there was a guy kind of looking at the pops as I kind of moved over. And then I kind of caught it out the corner of my eye and I just went for it. Who knows if he was going to be grabbing it or not, but I knew I needed to have it. And it was the last one. So super, super happy to add this to the collection. And then the last item of the day I picked up from Retro Festive as well. But this is not for me. This is actually for DK. And I seen this and I figured, you know what? DK will probably want this for his collection. So I picked it up. And I don't even know what this cost because it didn't even have a uh, price tag on it, but I knew it wouldn't be too much. And that is the little golden book of Funko Back to the Future. Of course, DK loves Back to the Future. And of course, the Funko Pops, he has almost all of them. So I figured why not go ahead and get this for him. But anyways, guys, that's all the time I have for this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. But anyways, guys, peace in, peace out.